Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and today we are reviewing the Xiaomi Redmi 1S available for Rs. 5999 from Flipkart. Comes with a quad core processor clocked at 1.6 GHz, the Snapdragon 400 with a 4.7 inch HD IPS display. You can see there's nothing on the left and you also have the dual tone finish of the phone. At the top glossy, at the back it's matte. At the top you have the 3.5M audio jack. On the right you have both the power lock and unlock button as well as the volume rocker. Both buttons are sturdy and they don't wobble. The Redmi 1S has rounded sides which makes the phone easier to hold. There is space to open the back cover right there. At the bottom primary microphone as well as a micro USB data syncing and charging port. But you can see that the port is actually rectangular. So you don't right away know how to put in your cable. Secondary noise cancellation microphone. 8 megapixel primary camera with BSI sensor LED flash in the speaker phone right there which does get a bit muffled. You can see the camera hump, it's very minor. That's because it is a thick device, Wii branding, and you have a non-slippery matte finish on the back cover as well. Now the phone does feel quite good to hold in the hand, especially given that the back is not slippery, and the rounded sides definitely makes it more pleasing. Now there are a few build issues I've noticed. There's a bit of creaking in the back cover in that region on both the sides, and this phone tips the scales at 158 grams. Which is quite a bit much considering this is just a 4.7 inch device. Now by itself the back cover is actually quite sturdy. It doesn't bend or flex that easily. But when on the phone it does creak a little bit. On the inside you have two full size SIM card slots and a micro SD card slot. With a 2000 mAh lithium polymer battery. Now the Redmi 1S comes with Adreno 305 GPU. You have 8 gigs of internal storage which is expandable and 1 gig of RAM. Since both buttons are on the same side, this phone can be easily handled in just one hand. You have a 1.6 megapixel front facing camera proximity and light sensor, 4.7 inch HD IPS display in the front. At the bottom you have capacitor buttons which do not light up and you also have a notification LED which for some reason has begun showing a very erratic behavior after the new update and doesn't show notifications as it should. But I can show you that it actually does work. You see right there, it's an RGB LED, so you have several colors available too. Now talking about display performance, it has good color reproduction. It has wide viewing angles as well, so you see no distortion in brightness or colors. And it is quite viewable in direct sunlight as well. I'll change some wallpapers, you'll be able to see the color reproduction yourself. But I did find that the whites do look a bit yellowish. But this is by far the best display you can get at this price point. The colors are almost accurate, albeit a little undersaturated. Now this is the default calling interface. I'll just dial a number. Now we didn't have any major issues with connectivity. However, call quality could have been a little better. The speakerphone is loud. It doesn't crackle at full volume. And you do have record feature available within the calling interface. You do have Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth tethering as well as USB tethering available on the device. You have VPN, you have Wi-Fi display as well if you do use that. GPS is also available on the device and it's able to triangulate quickly. This is the default camera interface. You have an 8 megapixel primary camera with BHI sensor capable of recording 1080p videos. You have several filters available too which show you real time how the image is going to look. You can record 720p videos with the front camera and images generally turn out to be quite good. You have panorama HDR mode available too. Now this is a shot taken with this camera in daylight, ambient light that is. And you can see it looks quite good. Color reproduction is accurate. These are some more color samples. Color reproduction is more or less accurate. And there is very little noise especially if you are capturing images in daytime. Now on the left you have normal, on the right HDR. The HDR image is a little bit blown out. The exposure is a little bit high. Now I can see the 100% crop in the left inset. The phone is able to capture quite a lot of detail and there is some smoothing going on in the final image. Macro shots also do turn out to be good. But autofocusing is a bit slow. Especially if you are very near a subject, autofocusing just doesn't want to work. You need to use tap to focus. Now here you can see good amount of detail is captured and the images do turn out to be sharp. We'll upload more image and video samples soon. Now this is the default media player. You have your playlist, 
you have your artists all songs everything in that interface it's very easy to use you have notification controls available as well I'll just show you that lock screen controls are also available which show the full screen album art just like they would on Android KitKat but this phone is still running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean now you do have a shake to skip feature which can be a bit of useful and does work most of the time now this is the default FM radio interface it's able to find channels quite quickly and you do have an option to record FM as well however it's located in the menu so it's not that easily accessible now we are playing a 1080p video it's a local video and you can see that the playback is actually flawless the colors look nice there is no ghosting or freezing Now we are playing a YouTube video. It's our unboxing of the Micromax Canvas A1. Now let me just skip ahead a bit. Now YouTube playback is limited to 720p on the display. And you can see that it plays flawlessly as well. Now the Redmi 1S runs Android 4.3 Jelly Bean with MIUI on top. It has received a new update to version 41.1. So let's first talk about the launcher which is also the app drawer. Quite like... Apple's iOS so you can customize the different home screens by long tapping on any of them you can add your own widgets by just tapping on them and selecting any of the home screens you can even increase the number of home screens if you want but that's not the only customization you can also change the scrolling effect that is available between the home screens and you do have app folders available too to organize your apps now this is the notification shade where all notifications as well as toggles are shown. You can customize the position of the toggles and which all toggles are actually shown. Then you get themes which are available from the MUI store. And you can simply download these to change the entire interface, fonts, wallpapers as well as the lock screen of the device. Now long tapping on the home button opens up Google now just as it should. And long tapping on the menu button opens up your task manager where you can switch to a task kill a particular task and gain more memory from about you can see that the phone is running android 4.3 jelly bean with me ui on top as i just said and it's the new update to version 41.1 you have about 6 gb of internal storage available out of the 8 gig rom which can be expanded using a micro sd card apps are not movable to the external sd card but usb otg is supported on the device now battery life is a bit iffy on the device sometimes you can get through a day but most of the time you would need to charge it within a day now miui has more customizations than you can think of you can even change the functionality of the capacitive buttons to what they actually do from right here now let's say you want to close an app with the menu button even that can be done you also get direct sound which enhances the music listening experience on the redmi 1s and truth be told it actually does work quite well with all the headphones that I've tried. Now you do get a scanner app which is inbuilt this time around with the new update and then you have the security app which has several functions including a cache cleaner, virus check, permissions manager. So you can see right there you can clean app cache, add files, packages that are already installed on your phone. Then you have power management, data user check as well as call and message block list. Then you have app permissions available so you can customize which apps are able to use which features on your phone or you can simply deny them. Swift key keyboard comes pre-installed with gesture support and it's very easy and quick to type on and it's responsive as well. Now we have loaded phonebunch.com and our mobile website has opened up. You can see that the scrolling is slightly slow. Switching to a desktop website, you can see the scrolling is quite fine. However, the rendering does take a little bit of time. We didn't have any major issues with rendering and you can see that the display performs quite well here. The touch response remains good, pinch to zoom also works quite well and there is no lag and no ghosting. But in terms of general response you can see that the UI does become bogged down if you have many apps open. RAM optimization was a key element with the new update but actually didn't help that much. Although you have more free RAM, still the phone hangs up in between and the apps take a long time to open up. While I was reviewing the camera, the phone just hung up in between and didn't start working well until I rebooted. Now there are some build issues with the device as well and it gets really heated up just around that camera module. Even with general use, if you use the phone just for talking, just for listening to music, just for gaming or anything, 
the phone heats up quite a lot so what's actually killing this device it's that low ram that is available to the apps heating issues which shouldn't be there and this miui rom which takes up a lot of space on its own you could have had an excellent mid-range smartphone for a budget price in the redmi 1s but it's the software that's killing the powerful specs of this phone we'll be back with more till then you can watch our gaming review of the xiaomi redmi 1s as well as the unboxing of the newly launched android one device micromax canvas a1 don't forget to subscribe like and share any questions hit us in the comment section thanks for watching and have a great day